part two of uh, the other James on 37th Street. This man used to come in my backyard, steal all my pecans, you know what I'm saying, out of my backyard from my trees. He used to disrespect me like that. You know what I'm saying? But now, he telling me that a feral black cat can't come in his backyard and I need to do something about it. He just told me that yesterday. So God told me I gotta protect myself to let myself know don't even come to this gate no more. This man is insane. You know what I'm saying? But for my own protection, I'm going to stay away from this. Now, I'm going to stay away from this. For my own protection. For my own protection. Gotta stay away from this completely. I have to stay away from this gate completely. I'm dealing with an insane person. That man used to climb through my windows. This window right here, I set a trap a long time ago for him. That's why I put that, if you look in there, you'll see Jesus Christ knocking at the door. That's to keep the devil out. Because there was a devil climbing up through this window, coming inside my house. You know? And I know my stuff, I could see when I come in here, because I was having a real hard time that things would be missing. And I said, man, that's, he was stealing my shit too. Taking whatever he wanted. He, he was able to walk around on my property, go in my house and everything, but my cat, a, forget that, a wild feral cat can't look at him through his window. And God just told me all the animals and black cats that he done murdered and, you know, poisoned and did everything too. You know, I used to be a bad person, but not only is he still that demon that has no respect for God's animals and people and think that, you know, he's special to the point that a cat, a feral cat can't walk through his property, walk on his property. A normal person would know that cats eat snakes. Cats kill vormit. You know, I used to have, you know, since I had a dog and I still have a dog, I love dogs. But my, while I had dogs and at times I had to buy many bags of dog food I would, uh, I would, uh, you know, the rats, the mice would come in there and be eating, you know, pick up a bag and be half full because they done ate all my dog food. But since I've gotten cats, I didn't have to worry about that no more. But, you know, cats also kill rats. I mean, kill snakes, you know, they kill pests, you know, they, they have a purpose, you know. Even the law says, you know, if you have a cat, nobody can really do anything about them roaming. Because you can't really, they, they have a mind of their own. Now how is a, a grown person, look how beautiful that is. How, how would a grown person think that uh, they could tell a grown, first of all, how could he think he could be up under my windows? How did he think he could be climbing through my windows? How did he think he could be encroaching on my property, trying to go behind me and take my house away from me by paying taxes? And how could he think that he could be feeding my dog, you know what I'm saying, and pretending to love my pets and stuff, but a feral cat can't go through his backyard. And one thing I used to notice about that, I was like, man, how this man always talking about feeding my dog and got something for my dog and wanting to do stuff for my animals, but don't have one. That's how you know you're dealing with so sociopaths. How you get, if you, if, you know, he, not only did he not have any pets, he, he took my dog. He said, that's a brand new tree. I was wondering what was going on with that. That mulberry tree somehow started all over again. Look at that. That mulberry tree, a piece of it somehow got in the ground and it's gonna grow through that fence and destroy it. But one day it's gonna be another mulberry tree. 
right there. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It started off again. That's a miracle before God right there too. So yeah, that man is dangerous. And I to protect for myself, I just put zip ties on that damn fence to let myself know when I go by there and see them zip ties, I said, well, man, if I get too close to there, hopefully I won't even walk over there no more. But I got to make a sign for myself to keep me from going over there and so how walking past there for he might have a, you know, some kind of, he may think I'm that cat. Because who, he's who I'm trying to torment anyway. You know what I'm saying? They're wondering how I made it. You know what I'm saying? Without, you know, letting them have control on me. They was all off in my business. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't my friends. Man, I wish I, I, I hope I never get old enough to be trying to hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Be so stuck in my ways, don't realize that I can't tell nobody to, to tell a cat to stay out of his window. I, I hope I never lose my mind and be going around telling people to tell cats to stay out of their window. That's all I'm hoping. <laughs> If God had just blessed me that. <sighs> you know what I'm That's all I'm hoping, man. Hey, man. Yesterday, ye yesterday the man next door, next door, yeah, yeah. He, he told me, hey, man, I've been you know, I'm wanting to tell you, you know what I'm saying, that you can't, uh, you know, you want to do something about that black cat. He be peeking through my window, looking at me, and he, uh, you know, goes in my backyard and uses the bathroom. And... <sighs> yeah, man, I mean, they go around, yeah, they, yeah, that man they used to around. crawl through my window. That man used to be up under my window. I'd be in my bedroom uh -huh. having sex. Uh -huh. And he, and I hear something outside my window. Yeah. Before I put that fence up, yeah. and he and I and I said, Shh, run outside real fast. He be all on the ground like he's trying to find something outside really? my window. When I was having a hard several times. <sighs> yeah. I when I had when I uh was having a hard time, yeah. he used to go open up my back gate and cut one strip down the inside of the where the fence line is. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Rather than cut the whole thing. Oh. Man, best believe if I ever walk in your backyard to, to do any cutting. Yeah on a humanitarian thing, yeah. I'm cutting the whole yard. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, you know, for him to even have the nerve, he used to climb, when I used to be gone for a long time, yeah. when he first moved over there, he used to actually climb through my windows what? and be inside my house stealing what? shit. <laughs> Listen, how I knew it was him, God told me, I'm just telling you, man, yeah. I, won't, I don't, I, I ain't, you know, me and you got into it, but I ain't never said no lies about you. When I said, when I was mad, yeah. I saw, I, I had a grievance yeah. and I was talking about that. Right. I ain't lying about that man, man. Right. But don't you know, I was having a hard time and, and you, know, you know, knowing it. When I see somebody having a hard time, I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to try to help them if I can. That's how I am. That's how I've always been. Yeah. Anybody know me or t tell you that about me. Right. If a person's having a hard time, I ain't going to try to walk over them. I ain't going to, I'm, I'm going to stay away from them if I'm, I'm going to do anything. Yeah. But anyway, right. uh, he thought I was having a hard time. I mean, I was having a hard time. And he was like, you know, I had a dog. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he trained the dog to be, you know, I wasn't, wasn't here all the time. The dog was the sweetest dog you ever wanted. You know how, right. you should know how my pets right. would be right. if I had a pet. Yeah. I said, but I had another dog. Okay. Just like her. Yeah. I was having a hard time. Within a short period of time of me not being here, yeah. he fucking trained the dog the way it was running, trying to bite people's kids and shit. Now listen to this too. And then he named the dog. My dog's name was Puppa Name. He named it Jake. Uh -huh. Every time I come here, man, Jake been a bad boy today. We, you know, we bought him a jacket. We, I look back there. Jake got a collar on. Jake, Jake got all kind of shit on. My dog in my backyard. Yeah. Who does that? Right. To somebody. Yeah. But like I said, man, before, you know, I don't mess with nobody or nothing, right. man. But I, I kind of feel, I know he's old. Right. And I seen people snap. Uh -huh. So I told myself, don't even walk over there. I, that's why I put this gate over here on the first place. What I'm just telling you is, don't you know, man, I'm man to man tip. At night, I don't even walk down through that way. Yeah. Out of respect for you and your girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's, I know that's your probably your rooms on that side of the house. Uh -huh. I don't even do that. Yeah. I'm not even gonna walk on my property down through there. Yeah. But he he was up under my went right up under my windows. That's why I put the fence up over there on that side. Mm. 
That kind of shit. But what I'm saying is when people get old, they start doing crazy shit too. Yeah. I done seen them. The old yeah. lady that was in his, this house way, uh-huh. this is how long I lived in this neighborhood, man. That was an old lady like him, uh-huh. was married. Her husband died first. Uh-huh. Next thing you know, she's in there in a wheelchair talking about there's a man and she, she had guns and shit. Yeah. She, there's a man walking around back there in the back and telling they, and they coming over here, man, there's nobody walking around in the back. Yeah. She's old. She got a gun in her lap. Yeah, and then somebody would have about this, probably would have She would have, a child or anything. So they had to come in here and get her. This was a long time ago. Yeah. They had to come in here and get her out of here yeah. to save probably somebody's life. Because right. she was, but she, she, she was, but she had always, she had went so crazy. She was seeing people mm. walking around that wasn't there. Can right. you imagine if somebody had to actually walk back there? Yeah, but I was, yeah, but I said, she actually lived, I swear to God to you, man, I ain't lying to you about none of this shit. That's how long I've lived here. There's been many people live here. But this person was old as hell, and they, it was a long time ago, this was like 30, 40 years ago. i never forget that shit, man. They had to come get that woman up out of here because she was finna shoot somebody because she had snapped and went crazy. And like I said, I don't know what he's, you know, thinking, but when you're, when you got to, when you're uh, thinking, you know, thinking you can tell a person to tell a cat, you know, the, you know, a cat, a, that cat's wild. I really can't even hardly catch it. Right. I just like animals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But don't you know cats kill snakes? Uh-huh, yeah. <sighs> uh, snakes, uh, mice, rats. I said, though, but the cat ain't bothering nobody. If the cat's over there in your yard, he probably trying to kill something that you don't want over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I think about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? If a right. cat come in your yard, you know, he's probably hunting something. Right. <sighs> That's crazy shit, man. That man told me to, that he gonna, I'm going to have to do something about that cat. And I said, man, that's your property. You can do whatever you want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's, you know, cats. So, you know, I know the law. Right. You, can, you, you can have a cat that's your cat, and you can let him outside and roam everywhere he want, want to. And ain't no, nothing nobody can even fucking do to you, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's about cats. Cats don't go under, not under no leash law. Right. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, too. Cats are so valuable. If, if the feral cats, they, they they go neuter them and they turn them back out loose. Do you know that? Yeah. They got a good yeah, and they, they help keep some of this shit down, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they go when when feral cats go to the pound, they spade them, uh-huh. healthy them up, and turn them back out into the location they found them. They got that program going right now, man. Okay. <sighs> All, right. All right, boss.